Lately, the tensions in the Russia-Ukraine war have been dominating headlines, and it's clear that the situation is becoming increasingly complex. But amidst the chaos, Russia has continued to surprise the world with its advancements in military technology. The latest development? The Russian Ministry of Defense has unveiled the design of the 3M22 Zircon hypersonic missile for the first time. This breakthrough represents a major leap in modern warfare, with capabilities that could significantly shift the balance on the battlefield. So, what exactly is this new technology, and how might it influence the broader conflict? On December 3rd, Newly released footage provided a rare look at the Zircon missile in action during naval exercises in the Mediterranean. This marks a shift from the conceptual renderings and speculative images that had fueled discussions about this elusive weapon. The footage shows the missile being launched from a vertical launch system, or VLS, highlighting its seamless integration with modern Russian naval platforms, such as the Admiral Gorshkov-class frigates, this VLS configuration enables the Zircon to deliver rapid, flexible strikes against both surface and land-based targets, showcasing its remarkable operational versatility. The Zircon hypersonic missile first gained global attention in 2018, when Russian President Vladimir Putin unveiled it during a state speech. Hailed as a cornerstone of Russia's advanced military arsenal, the Zircon was showcased as a symbol of military dominance and a direct counter to NATO's growing capabilities. Following years of rigorous testing and refinement, the missile achieved full operational status by 2024, cementing its place as a critical component of Russia's strategic weaponry. On February 7th, 2024, reports emerged of a missile strike in Kiev. Ukrainian analysts examined the debris and identified clear signs of a Zircon missile. Oleksandr Ruven, head of the Kiev Scientific Research Institute of Forensic Expertise, highlighted that fragments recovered from the site bore distinctive markings and structural features unique to the Zircon, particularly in the engine and guidance systems. Later, on February 29th, 2024, President Putin confirmed the missile's combat debut during a speech to the Russian Federal Assembly. The Zircon sea-launched hypersonic strike system has already been deployed in combat, he announced, marking a historic moment in modern military history. Another strike followed on March 25, 2024, again targeting Kiev. Fragments recovered from various locations in the city closely resembled those from the February attack, further supporting evidence of the Zircon's operational use. However, Russian officials declined to confirm whether the missiles used in the strike were indeed Zircons, leaving some ambiguity around their deployment. The Zircon missile stands out as a cutting-edge marvel of military engineering, blending exceptional speed, precision, and adaptability. It features a two-stage propulsion system that uses a solid fuel booster for initial acceleration and a scramjet engine to sustain hypersonic flight. This advanced technology propels the missile to speeds of up to Mach 9, approximately 11,000 kilometers per hour, making it virtually impossible for conventional defense systems to intercept. The Zircon also has an operational range of 1,000 kilometers and can carry dual warhead options, including both conventional and nuclear payloads. Its design prioritizes low detectability, advanced maneuverability, and the ability to function under electronic countermeasures, ensuring it can penetrate even the most advanced air defense systems. To better understand the Zircon's capabilities, let's compare it with other missiles in Russia's arsenal. Let's start by comparing the Zircon with the Kinjal. The Kinjal is an air-launched ballistic missile that can reach speeds of up to Mach 10, making it another hypersonic weapon in Russia's arsenal. However, unlike the Zircon, which sustains hypersonic speeds throughout its flight, the Kinjal relies on a solid fuel engine to achieve these speeds, 
but doesn't maintain them for long. It has a range of about 2,000 kilometers and can carry a warhead weighing up to 500 kilograms. While the Kinjal is designed to strike ground targets and naval vessels, it differs from the Zircon in both precision and versatility, as the Zircon is optimized for continuous high-speed flight and adaptability across various missions. Now, let's look at the KH-101. This cruise missile is built for stealth and precision, operating at speeds of Mach 0.9 to 1.0, with an impressive range of 5,500 kilometers. It's designed to strike high-value targets with advanced guidance systems, excelling in situations where stealth is critical. However, its subsonic speed means it falls short of the Zircon's hypersonic capabilities, making it less effective against modern high-speed defense systems. From this quick look, we can see that the Zircon outshines both missiles by combining sustained hypersonic speed, precision, and maneuverability. More importantly, the Zircon stands out among modern missile systems due to its ability to evade radar detection and defensive interception. Compared to subsonic and supersonic missiles, its hypersonic speed reduces the response time for targeted defenses, rendering current NATO missile systems ineffective. This technological edge positions the Zircon as a game changer in military strategy. The introduction of the Zircon also exposes glaring vulnerabilities in NATO's missile defense systems. Current defenses, such as the Aegis Combat System and the THAAD, are not equipped to intercept hypersonic missiles traveling at Mach 9. This creates a strategic disadvantage, particularly for naval operations, as the Zircon can easily target and destroy high-value assets like aircraft carriers and warships. The Zircon's unveiling will likely force NATO to rethink its military strategies. This includes reallocating resources to develop advanced defense technologies and increasing investments in hypersonic missile programs to level the playing field. NATO countries may also strengthen alliances and enhance regional cooperation to mitigate the risks posed by the Zircon. Additionally, defense budgets across member states are expected to rise as nations scramble to adapt to this new era of warfare. So, what do you think of this new Russian hypersonic missile? That's all for today. Thank you for watching.